So I'm leaving in, well, after tomorrow, and I'm sick, <laughs> which sucks. I need to relax a little bit. <sighs> ah. I'm freezing cold, so I think a bath would be the best thing for me right now. Probably go home by foot, because I just have to take the metro, because I was way too cold. I'm really in the Nihondashi area and I'm gonna go down see what's interesting there what's good is that everything that I want to see is like in this north to south pattern so from Nihondashi to Ginza today is Sunday though so I don't know how it's gonna be with the crowds but since I'm not in a very vloggy mood which is unfortunate I'm just gonna take it easy today see what happens uh, if it's boring then I'm trying gonna try not to panic about it be like ah, I have nothing to edit it happens. I feel like uh, two days ago I was in the same weird mood and then it was okay and then today I'm in a weird mood again. Maybe tomorrow will be better, I don't know. Apparently tomorrow is going to rain though, so we shall see. I need I need to freeze time for like a few hours just to, to get my mind straight. Anyway, right now I was waiting for the intermediatech. I don't know how you say that in English, but it's what it's called, intermediate tech. It sounds weird in English. Automediatic sounds better in French. So that's where I'm going to be heading now. If, I'm just going to see if it looks interesting, see if the entrance fee is not too expensive, and uh, seems like a good place to start. I've been around the area a little bit. I mean, I left around just after 9 a.m., so I've been walking around, visiting, got my uh, vending machine thing of the day. I was looking for it. I had to go to multiple vending machines to find that little. Uh, lemon honey sir warm syrup type of thing. It's very sweet. I hope there's not too much sugar in it. But I remember last time I came and I was kind of feeling a cold coming on in Osaka. I was drinking those daily and it really helps. So I'm hoping it will help again. I'm gonna wear this mask because it helps with my nose area, like keep everything here warm. <laughs> wow, I need I need a bit of rest I think today. Um, we'll just see what happens, okay? I'm just gonna take it easy. I feel the pressure of being like, I need to make a good vlog, but we'll just see what happens. I hope you enjoy it nonetheless. out why I'm not in a very vloggy mood. I'm kind of not in the hey look at me mode. I don't, you know, I've got my hand out. I'm talking to a camera. I wouldn't mind blending in today for a, for a change. For a change. So, uh, the Intermediatek, I still don't know how to say it in English, is inside the Kite building. I did not know that on the second floor. And it's a free admission natural science museum. I did not know that either. For some reason I said I wanted to go see it, it was on my to-do list, and then I didn't know what it was about. I was just like, oh, it sounds like a cool name, let's just go there. I probably wrote it down because it was free, to be honest, and I just forgot it was free. It's got a nice little collection inside, animals, science and stuff. I'm really bad with museum, guys. I know it's 
so bad because it's like so much drawing reference and art reference and like dictionary uh, imagination reference but museums for some reason make my eyes like roll into the back of my head and I just like scan things and I'm like oh this is cool but I don't register anything I, just, I don't know why does anybody have this maybe it's from like school days I'm talking really fast because I want to move away from this spot and there's too many people but just want to say that if you're interested in museums and uh, science natural sciences uh, animals stuffed animals and bugs history stuff like that well that is for you because it's free um, weird noisy tour plus thing oh anyway I want to really want to get away from this spot there are not many people thankfully but I want to move away it's cool too I really hope I don't get sick again because I've finally gotten rid of it and now my throat is hurting again. So I'm gonna keep going south to Ginza and still got some shops along the way. my kind of vibe, well not only because of the train but just the vibe, the ambiance it's different you have Nihondashi and everything in front of me with the buildings and it's clean and it's crisp and it's beautiful and the architecture is really interesting but for me I prefer this kind of industrial feel like here it's a bit of mismatching when it's too perfect I'm not that inspired so right now I'm on my way. I think I'm, I'm reaching Ginza, I think, which is cool. Going under the train tracks, as you can hear. Lots of people here again. Not helping with the blending in mood I am in, but I need to make something of this vlog, right? Okay? Um, right now I'm gonna look for a Godzilla statue. Not the Godzilla statue of Shinjuku, but there should be a smaller one around here. So that's what I'm I'm looking for. I don't know why. I just want to do something different. I want to try something I haven't done. Yeah, right now so it's near Ginza and yeah I was looking for this guy I don't even know why I don't know what I'm doing today I'm just like hey I know there's a statue of Godzilla around so let's just go find it but it's a cool neighborhood I didn't know about it but there's like all these restaurants the sh uh, the beneath the train tracks it's interesting it's really cool I didn't know of it and I'm a train fan so good news there's just way too many people today way too many Tourist is very loud, so I'm just gonna avoid this area altogether. I'm just hoping to get maybe a few more photos of the train, you know me. But otherwise, I don't know. I'm really hungry, but I don't know what to eat. What's budget friendly around here? I'm gonna go have a look. But hey, I'm gonna take a few photos of this guy. Maybe take a few photos again of this area. Look, train, 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 train. I think it's gonna be a few good photo opportunities over there if people will allow it yeah it was way too cold outside so i went inside the first mall i could find which is ginza fire and i had lunch over there which was a nice warm bowl of noodles the thick ones what is it called the thick ones we don't anyway it was simple it was nice and really attacked just what i needed like some comfort food really needed that now i'm still in the five i'm at starbucks and i had to try at least once in my life the sakura latte and 
Expensive as heck. I don't really drink anything but Starbucks, honestly, but I had to try it at least once while I was here. That's how it goes. So, this is the smallest one they have. This, you know, this was more expensive than the whole meal I had over there. It's a pink. <laughs> How would you guys describe it? Maybe it's a little full. Let me quickly have this going so I can turn the camera off. I look so tired. I hope I'm not getting sick again. That would suck. No one says that anything. This gum just tastes like scum. It's a little dry to be honest. Wait for it. Okay, if you have ever tried anything Sakura related, Starbucks, not Starbucks, anything, let me know what you thought of it, what you think the flavor resembles, like what it's close to. If you're a um, description flavor expert person, go for it. on some shops I wanted to check out, nothing really interesting for me but at least I go inside shops, it's warm and then I can come back out I think that's gonna be the plan from now on it's my first time in Ginza and uh, yeah, very trendy a lot of things that I probably can't afford so Tiffany, Volga, Louis Vuitton, Cartier yeah, definitely out of place here but there is Itoya, which is right there and it's a stationary shop so there might be something in here for me after all <laughs> Oh my god, this day is not going the way I hoped, but I mean, I'm for me, I'm okay with it. I'm more annoyed for the vlog, for the filming, uh, that it's not going the way that I hoped it would. But it looks like the street is closed off, maybe because it's Sunday or something, so we can just walk in the streets, which is pretty nice. That's actually a nice thing, that's a plus thing. Um, crowd wise, it's okay. It was really crazy back there with the rally, and oh my god, where's my light? This is better. Yes, this is definitely better. There was def definitely a, a lot of mayhem on the, with the rally. My light is gone there already. And my battery is gone already. Uh, yeah, what am I talking about? I was saying that crowd-wise, it's okay. It's busy, like Sunday busy, but not crazy busy. It's not really my vibe, yo. Ginza is not for me. Maybe I'm... Maybe I'm part of the more tourist area, like Asakusa or something. That's, those are the parts I like. There are tons of people taking photos, like posing in the street, doing Instagram shit, and I'm getting all the looks because I'm talking to a camera. That sucks. So I'm gonna go to Itaya, and then afterwards I'm gonna go more south again. Okay, I'm just going south today. Nihonbashi, going down, Ginza, and then after like the Tsukiji area. Not gonna do the fish market, obviously, I did it last time, but like there are a few like um, tea shops maybe. I'm not really sure. I'm maybe gonna take a few photos. I mean, it's nice, but it's not for me, I don't think. I mean, there's nothing I can really do here. Sorry, I'm in a weird mood. Not the best of days for me. I'm gonna tell you a little secret. 
I'm a bit homesick today. Not that I miss home, it's that I miss like an, a, a me area. I want to sit down and just be me for a little while. And uh, since all day, this is not a great spot. <laughs> since all day, every day, I'm outside walking around, having my adventures. And then I go back to the hostel, and like I said, I edit, and then I'm back in my little uh, capsule thing. I don't really have me time, like full on me time where I'm just put my feet up, and I don't know, like, just a good time. I think that's what I miss, but I know it'll be fine. I think I did have the same thing last, last time I came here, though I think it came on a little later. And also the last time I had an Airbnb after the first 10 days or so, which really helped me, like, relax. <laughs> So, I know this is just temporary, I'm not panicking about it, but you might notice it on this face. Anyway, I'm gonna stop filming and go to Itoya. I said that 10 times already. Sorry about this vlog, guys. definitely going up there <laughs> if there's a way I'm going up the light looks beautiful and there's buildings and it's golden hour oh look at this oh god photo opportunity right there right there hang on hang on people are staring at me like what is she doing what's so interesting but look at this light these little moments aesthetic moments is, these are what I look for <laughs> Off. I don't know what I filmed or not. Did I even press the record button going up? I was just saying, if this isn't an eco spot, I don't know what is. Pretty sure it was made just for me. <laughs> okay, I just got distracted and I don't remember where I'm going. There's a sky tree over there. There's golden hour. Oh, it's golden hour now. And I still have one architecture spot I want to see, like just from the outside. I better get going. Um, help! Google Maps, help me! Where am I? <laughs> no, not you, camera. Where am I? Uh, I'm like six minutes away. Uh, 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 no, two minutes away. Just updated itself. <laughs> Google Maps is confused, like where are you? Okay, I'll... I'll, I'll uh, so where is this illustrious architectural magnificence that the guide recommended oh um, wait it's this thing <laughs> oh my god uh stupid guide i mean it's cool and all but it's just so what am i supposed to do with that i knew it was kind of like falling apart but not like this well guys, if you ever want to go see the Nagakin capsule tower, feast your eyes. I'm trying to think of an angle where this would look uh, good. Ah, get out of my frame, you stupid road sign. Yeah, I'm out of ideas. Like this. There we go. Woo! I don't know. I don't know guys. <laughs> This is not my day. Bye Nagaki in Capsule Tower. This is what Tsukiji looks at the end of the day. Pretty deserted. Well, I'm not yet really into it, but those stall, stall, stalls are usually full. <laughs> Cannot speak anymore, too tired. Yeah. I don't even know why I'm bothering to go there, but 
I thought I'd just fill up my day, just walk around, just go south, completely south, and to Kiji, as south as I can go, and then I'm gonna walk back up. I think it's just an, an hour, less than an hour to walk back to uh, my hostel, so. <laughs> Wish me luck. <laughs> just gonna go see if the thing I want to see is there and if it's interesting and if not I'll just go back home home you know what I mean home yep this is what's left of it at the end of the day I don't mind the quiet it feels good but kind of also feels like I'm not supposed to be here as a tourist like mm. There it is, the last stop of the day. It's not that I necessarily wanted to see this drive, it's just that it was at the end of my little course. I mean, there's no, there's no going more south than that. After that, it's the Sumida River, so... This is the Fisherman's Shrine. I don't know what this real name is, sorry. But where you wish for a good catch before going out for work so now I think that all I have to do all I have to do is follow the Sumida River back to Akihabara damn that's a long way to walk well I'm up for it I'm gonna put my music on I uh, hope I don't get too cold, that's the only thing. And lost, that would be the worst thing, jeez. But yeah, I'm gonna walk back, and if I'm too tired, I'll just take the metro for the rest of the way, but I'm up for it. I think I can do it. What do you think? Wish me luck! Ooh. Worst thing would be for to get lost. I really hate getting lost and losing time, but it looks pretty straightforward, right? <laughs> okay, wish me luck, guys. See you later.